uh, I'm not going to read it. We're just going to talk about it, and you can go back and read it later. But you have you have Mount Sinai, which is Hagar. This is the latter part of uh, Galatians chapter 4. Mount Sinai is Hagar. Jerusalem is Sarah. Now, Christianity, we would say, actually, we, we inter interpret Jerusalem. Well, that must be the Messiah. Interesting. Why would he call it Jerusalem then? Why would it be Jerusalem and not uh, and not Calvary? Why not, why Jerusalem and not the cross? Why why Jerusalem? Why why does he say Mount Sinai versus Jerusalem? Thing is, uh, thing is, is he's not comparing Torah with Christianity. He's not comparing law versus grace, and that's the, the that's the where this is taken. What he's talking about is Mount Sinai. Well, what was given at Mount Sinai? Were the sacrifices, was the sacrificial system given at Mount Sinai? No, it was just Ten Commandments, wasn't it? It was just a, it was just the, the, the basis of establishing the identity of the people of God. Sinai is about separation. It's distinguishing who we are from everybody else. Jerusalem is about inclusion. That's Ephesians, or Ephesians. That's Isaiah chapter two and three. It's about it's about Gentiles coming to the mountain of God, coming to Jerusalem, and saying, "Tell us the stuff about Torah. We don't we don't we don't know what Torah is. We need to we want to learn God's laws." So it's, that's about inclusion. So Jerusalem is about inclusion. Is about being is about coming together. Whereas Sinai is about separating out. And if you understand in that perspective, coming from where we've been talking about the Gentiles being being cast aside and not being allowed to fully participate in the faith, then that, that's why he would use uh, Sinai and, and uh, Jerusalem. It's not law versus grace. In fact, um, when people say, well, Torah is done, we don't need to worry anything about that anymore god's a liar if that's the case because there's about seven prophecies in the book of isaiah alone that stand unfulfilled so that means god didn't do what he was supposed to do if, if, if torah is no longer valid